Hey guys, welcome in. How is everyone? I've missed you all greatly. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Shannon. We are going to be doing a timeless Aquarius reading today. How are all my Aquarians? I hope you're all well. Okay, we are starting out with the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, and the Tower. For some of you, there might be a pregnancy or an announcement of a pregnancy coming. That's just for some of you. For others of you, we're growing something. We're working on bringing something into our physical reality. So this could be a new idea that you've had that you want to you know, move forward with. This could be a new business opportunity. This could be a new relationship. This could be a lot of different things. But I am seeing the tower down on the bottom and that's why I said for some of you, yeah, and we have the fool here too. For some of you, somebody could be pregnant or finding out that they're pregnant and you could be finding out about this. All right, let's find, what do we need to know here about what Aquarius is bringing? They're flying all over the place today, y'all. Okay, so we have the Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles coming out with the Queen of Pentacles. Whatever this is that we're bringing to life, whatever this is that we're working on, this is something that you would have been working on for a long time. This is something that you've worked really hard to become accomplished in to become, you know, the person that everybody goes to for this reason. And it looks like it's been a painful journey. It's been a painful journey so far, but with the Seven of Pentacles and then the Emperor coming out, it looks like we're finally getting to the point in this that we want to be at. Becoming the expert on something, for instance but we're finding stability, we're finding, we're finding our way. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. So there's definitely a, a progression here of sorts, but also a nod to when you get to this point, make sure that you're not just keeping this to yourself. Make sure that we're sharing out this knowledge that we've gained and helping others but I definitely see you coming to a completion point, like a checkpoint in this journey, if you have not already reached this point. You could even have people coming to you for advice on things, and you're happily giving it. You're happy to assist these other people who have walked the same path that you've walked. Why do we need to know about the spirit? What do we got going on here? Ah, yes. We have the chariot coming out. So it's like you're being pulled in two different directions. Maybe you've come to some type of a checkpoint, like I just said, and now it's time to move on. But it's like, where do I go from here? I've been doing this for so long. I've been giving of myself for so long. This is what I know how to do. This is what I became an expert in doing. For some of you, this could be even like, you know, your children leaving the house and you're kind of like, okay, where do I go from here? What do I do now? It's something where you have been giving of yourself for a very long time. And now that path, while not ending, it's kind of come to its culmination point. And You'll still be doing this, but it's not going to be your main focus anymore. And so we need to decide in which direction we want to now steer our energy. Yeah, I'm going to pull these out. Let's talk about these three on the bottom here. We have the three of swords, the devil, and the seven of cups. So underlying this change that you're going through here, there's definitely emotional confusion, heartache, but I hate to say it's self-imposed, but with the devil being here, we have to remind ourselves that we're not shackled to anything unless we shackle ourselves to it. So this is kind of like stepping out of something that you have made your entire persona 
or you've really made this a huge piece of your life and now we're moving away from it. Spirit's saying, okay, you've done wonderfully, you know, kudos, you're doing great, but now it's time to add something new in. Now it's time to head out down this other path and see where this takes us. And that can be a very scary thing, right? We all, you know, we're all human. We all get to these points in our life where we feel incredibly comfortable. And I feel like that's when it hits the fan. You know what I mean? Um, right when we start becoming comfortable in what it is we're doing. So Spirit's asking you to really take a giant leap of faith here. But at the same time, it's the the energy that's coming off of this spread right now is like, you've got this. It's a very, um, it's almost like, you know, if you've got a little kid and you're at the, um, at the park and they're like, I can't climb that, I can't climb that. And you know, as the parent, you know that they can absolutely climb it. And you're telling them, you can do this, you can do this, but they're not quite believing in themselves yet. That's the vibe that this is giving off. So you absolutely can handle this. Otherwise, you would not be being asked to do it. So this is about believing in ourselves. This is about not getting too stuck in the weeds emotionally, not getting too tied down to where we've been or what we've been doing, and being willing to kind of let the reins go a little bit to allow the space for new things to come in. Yes, we have judgment coming out. Wow, and the hangman fell out too, but it fell out face down. So I'll keep that on the bottom. But judgment, this is you being called. This is spirit saying, hey, it's time. The time is now. This is a non-traditional deck, but if we think about the traditional judgment card, we have the angel waking everybody up and everyone's rising up out of their, out of their graves. It's a reawakening. And maybe there is some aspect of us changing our perspective around on whatever this is that we've been doing for a long time. Realizing that this isn't all of us. That there's a lot more complexity to who we are than just this one aspect. What's our guidance here? We have the Nine of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. So guys, I mean, and the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Y'all, this is, this is basically spirit coming through and saying, you're resilient. You've got this. You're going to find stability again. This might shake you up, but it's, it's happening. It's shaking you up for a good reason because there is another castle to build. There's another um, mountain to climb. There's something else we need to do. And that is where you're at right now, kind of realizing that it's going to be okay. Things might be shifting and changing and we might be needing to let go of some of the things from our past. But at the same time, don't forget, nobody can ever take these skills, these things that you've had, these, this, whatever this is that you've been giving of yourself for a very long time, no one can ever take this away from you. So try not to think of it as losing something, but as adding to what you're already able to do. You will be getting clarity on this, maybe through a dream, maybe some of you will be talking to like a trusted friend or family member, but what, however it occurs, you're going to be getting some backing. You're going to be getting some reassurance coming in um, and know that that's spirit coming through in the form of somebody else letting you know that this is going to be okay. Let's pull a couple more cards and then I'll let you guys go because I feel like we've gotten the bulk of the message here. 
Wow, yep, the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So guys, as we move and look, there's the Empress on the bottom of the deck. Something new is being birthed into this world, I'm telling you guys. It's going to be important as you walk this path. I almost feel like these two knights are representing these two horses. It's going to be very important for you to balance and find balance between our very grounded, rational, I don't want to move too quickly side and the side of us that gets excited and it's like, I can't wait to do this. I really want to jump into this. There's a fine line, there's a balance between these two things. And if we're able to find that balance, this journey is gonna be all the more easy for you to get through. So just to sum it up real quickly, guys, there is something that you have become the go-to person for, something you've been giving of yourself freely for a very long time, whether that be love, whether that be in work, However, this is resonating for you. And now, like the best description I could give is that feeling of like our kids leaving the home and you know, where do we go now, right? And spirits coming through and saying, you know, you're being called to do something else. It's up to you to steer your will in that direction. You're resilient, you're strong, you're going to build a firm foundation again. But first, we have to let go of the mental anguish, the emotional anguish, and the ties that are keeping us from moving forward in this new direction. There's a balance we need to find, and once we find that balance, we're going to be moving into a new chapter of our lives, and that's beautiful. All right, my friends, that's where we're going to leave it at today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I love you all so much. Glad to be back. I hope you're all doing well, and I will talk to you again soon.